about 200 um, new TAs going, that are going to get training this morning, and um, we're so happy that you all found us easily this time, and I think we fit a little better than we did on Tuesday when we had um, more than 500 students trying to sit and have, have refreshments in this room. So welcome again, and I hope your last couple of days have gone well as you've started your uh, uh, getting to know your programs a little bit and getting some information about uh, what you're going to be doing. How many of you have already had a moment to um, find out what your uh, teaching assignment duties are? Good number. So how many haven't? I, it's sort of hard to tell. Um, hopefully, you'll find out <laughs> very soon. School starts Monday, um, so that um, generally the, the teaching assignments get made at this point. Sometimes it's enrollment dependent, and there have to be last-minute changes. So don't worry about that. Um, there will always be some, um, someone there to help you with the first day of your activities. But um, I can tell you um, that I hope you enjoy your teaching activities as a graduate student as much as I did. Um, I know I didn't start out formally because I met all of you on Tuesday, but um, just as a reminder, in case you missed it, I am your graduate dean. I'm Dr. Patricia Kamenicki, and I'm dean of the College of Graduate Studies and also vice provost for graduate affairs. So that means I work with all the other vice provosts um, as a team as we work toward lots of different initiatives at the University of Toledo. So one of the things I get to do as a vice provost is to be your advocate so that um, you can work with me directly by email, um, although not too many people do, but I'm happy to take emails. And if I can't solve a problem, I, I probably have an idea of who can try to assist you with things. But for your teaching in endeavors for this, this year, many of you are starting out maybe for the first time as a teaching assistant. And so what we thought we'd try to do is to bring in several different speakers today that will help you, first of all, know some of the rules and regulations. Um, we live in a time when we really have to, have to know what, what's allowable and what's not allowable in terms of sharing of information and that kind of thing. So there are just some nuts and bolts that we'll need to provide you with some background on. And then we also want to try to get you excited about this new endeavor, and we'll have some people talk to you about ways to uh, work in front of the classroom. Some of you may have lecture responses. Responsibilities. Some of you may have uh, laboratory types of responsibilities, and others may have recitation activities. So there's a full range of what you as teaching assistants will be doing. And we have, we have teaching assistants across um, many colleges, um, heavily skewed in, in the sciences and engineering, and then um, some in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences, and then scattered in other areas, including education and business. Um, and just in case you don't know, um, we have probably so we have about 4,300 graduate students enrolled so far this fall, and of that, um, about 1,000 students are going to be supported with either stipends or teaching assistance, uh, uh, the stipends or tuition um, scholarships, and then those would be just all the graduate students, and so about 35% or so are teaching assistants, and so you are the new set of teaching assistants coming in. And so there will be people in most of your programs who have been through the teaching activity in past years, and they're going to be a very good resource for you as you go through your program. Oh, how do I do this? How do they approach that? Um, is this okay to do? Those kinds of questions. And in some of the programs, and particularly in the natural sciences where they have maybe 40 labs um, in, the, in biological sciences and chemistry and um, computer labs in, in um, engineering and mathematics, um, what they'll need to do is have actual meetings, weekly meetings, to give you the updates on how to approach your class and that topic for the week so that all the different sections are doing the same thing with a little bit of individuality. And so what I would suggest you do, just my little tip about being a TA, first of all, always know what your responsibilities are. Um, always know and be prepared for the materials that you're going to be teaching. Um, in some cases, it may not be in a comfort zone for you. You may have a specialty area in this area, and you may be asked to teach in this area. It doesn't mean you can't do it. And part of your graduate training is learning how to take on board information and then present it back. And so um, this will be a good um, skill set to learn. Um, don't try to fake it. If you really don't know an answer, it's better to say, sorry, um, I don't know that right now, but I'll find out the answer for you. You'll lose your credibility very quickly if you try to bluff. You know, this isn't a good strategy as, as a person in front of the classroom. And then you need to decide, 
what kind of a person do you want to be? How do you want your students to perceive you as the, the professor or the teacher in the front of the lab or classroom? And that's a really important decision. And so one of the ways, I mean, there's so many ways to be. Obviously, you can't be something you're not, but you might want to try to think about who were my favorite professors or teachers? How can I maybe um, try to emulate some of their um, skills that I thought really meant a lot or um, I felt comfortable with what they were doing? And that can be a good way to start. And then you will find your own voice. It will come to you, probably not the first week, um, but, um, but as you go through it, and especially when you come back and do a class another time, then you have a real comfort level. But I, I just want to encourage you to don't hesitate to ask questions um, of your um, peers in the departments and programs, um, of your advisor. Um, he or she may be able to give you some tips um, as well. They may have done something with that particular course in the past. And so uh, better to ask than not to ask. This is a good time to get all your, your questions sorted. So what we're doing today is just giving you just a start on some of the information that you'll need to have to be successful in front of the classroom. And then we're hoping that maybe in the midway during the year, we'll have um, sort of a, um, a TA workshop. Um, we're in the processes of trying to work that out now. And that might be um, something that you can appreciate a little bit more. There's so much new information coming to you hard and fast this week and in the next few weeks as you start your careers. And so maybe about halfway through the year, be sure to look at our um, COGS website professional development section and see if we have any TA workshops. And we'll probably send that out also in our email blast. Um, if you haven't already gotten a welcome email from us, it might go out next Monday. Um, we send the COGS um, uh, office, we send out a monthly email to you with important deadlines and updates and important information. And so but if we get this new one going, um, we'll, it's not on the schedule yet because we're trying to, to pick the best group of people to do it. But um, keep an eye open for it. Um, any quick questions for me before we, we start the program? I'm Again, I'm happy to do it. Sorry about being um, a little low energy on Tuesday. I was just recovering from sort of a major virus that I had all last week. And um, I hope that you, you still felt welcomed warmly. Um, I'm a little more myself today. And um, so I'll have a little more energy and be around a little bit more. And uh, so uh, don't hesitate to stop me um, in the breaks. We'll have several sessions this morning. We'll break for a few minutes, and then we'll come back and wrap up with um, three or four speakers after the break. And so I'll be around all morning. And I look forward to seeing you all here, and I know you'll have a, a great day. So welcome to all of you, and um, we can get going.